Hello guys. In this video, I would like to talk about a question that is generally asked in any data science or machine learning interviews. Okay. And that question is what are parametric and non-parametric ML algorithms? Okay. So in order to understand or answer this particular question, you need to know what ML algorithms are in a broader way. Right. So what are ML algorithms? So if you think of if you think on ML algorithms, you can understand them as a mathematical functions correct so before i go on explaining this why we can think of this as a math mathematical function let me give you one or two examples okay so if you talk about linear regression linear regression and specifically univariate okay so when i say univariate linear regression we have one independent variable and one dependent variable so this is our target and this is our feature right so this is our univariate linear regression so, what are the examples of some univariate linear regressions? So, let's say we have two columns. Uh, let's take skill level of an employee and his or her salary. Right? So, if the skill level is high, the salary will be high. If the skill level is low, salary will be less. <coughs> okay? So, the relationship between skill level and salary is linear. Okay? And if you take another example, uh, let's say we have GRE score and let's say we have probabilities for admission, probability for admission and this ranges between 0 and 1 and this can be anything, GRE score, right? So, it is a continuous number. So, this can also be treated as a linear regression problem wherein given GRE score, we have to predict the probability of admission okay so these two examples are linear regression with univariate uh, it, it comes under category of univariate linear regression right so <clears throat> in order to predict this salary if you take this first example so salary is dependent on skill level correct so this skill level and how this salary is dependent on skill level we know that it's a linear linear dependency but if we do not know we can write a general function f so this is a function so salary is dependent on skill level based on some function it can be linear or non linear or even exponential right so it can be like this or it can be a curve like this as well so this is linear and this is non linear right so, this can be anything. So, what this ML algorithm tries to do? ML algorithm will try to find out this function. It will try to generalize this function on given data. Correct? So, this is what ML algorithm in a broad view. Okay? So, now coming to the actual question. What are parametric and non-parametric ML algorithms? So, in order to answer this in actual sense, you need to know what is what are parameters right so in case of linear regression univariate linear regression you are trying to find the best fit line correct so we call it as a best fit line so what's the equation of the straight line it is y is equal to mx plus c correct so in this case m is our slope of the line and C is our Y intercept. And our ML algorithm needs to find out the values for slope and Y intercept. Right. So, in this case, in univariate linear regression, we have two parameters. One slope and one Y intercept. Correct. So, in case of machine learning terms, we call this as uh, theta or parameter or weights to learn, right? And this we can treat it as a bias, correct? So we have total two parameters, right? In this particular equation. So linear regression hypothesis, if you are aware of that, it is given as S theta is equal to theta 0 x 0 plus theta 1 x 1. So, 
So x0, x1 are our features, theta0, theta1 are our learnable parameters. Correct? Learnable params. Right? So we have to learn thetas. We have to learn parameters. And in order to answer what are parametric ML algorithms, so the definition the definition can be given as parametric ML algorithms are those where number of parameters are fixed. Parameters will be fixed no matter if the data set grows or reduces. When I say data set grows or reduces, the number of parameters does not depend upon the number of records that we have in the data set. So, in this case, we have two parameters to learn, right? And these parameters will always be two, no matter if we have 100 records with us, or 200 records with us, or even 200,000 records with us, okay? So, the number of parameters remains same. Right. So, the, the general definition of parametric machine learning algorithm says the machine learning algorithm is said to be parametric where the number of parameters remains fixed. It does not depend on the number of records that we have in the data set. So, that is what parametric machine learning algorithms are. Okay. So, in the end, I will tell you clear distinction uh, and I will also classify some of the uh, ML algorithms as parametric and non-parametric algorithms. Okay, so please watch this till the end. And now coming to non-parametric algorithms. <coughs> non-parametric. Okay, so it's quite opposite of what parametric algorithms are. So the definition goes like this. So the number of parameters, number of parameters change if the number of records in the data set changes data set changes okay so the classic example of this would be decision trees so if you guys know decision trees so what this decision tree does it decides on the root node correct we will have the root node and then we will split based on some conditions and we will have the decision nodes. Correct? So, let us say we have some trees like we have a tree like this and this is the tree we got let us say if we have 100 records with us. Okay? So, if we have 200 records with us this decision tree can grow further. Right? So, it can grow something like this. Okay. So, this growth of the decision tree is also called as the change in the depth of a tree. Change in depth of the tree. And depth of the tree is one of the hyperparameters in decision trees. So, these are called as hyperparameters, not the parameters, because these parameters, for example, the depth of the tree does not remain same if the number of records changes or the nature of the data set changes. Okay? But in case of parametric machine learning algorithms, the number of parameters to be learned remains same no matter how the data set changes. If the data set is for linear regression, the number of parameters will remain fixed no matter if we increase or decrease the size of the data set. Okay? So, this is the basic distinction between parametric and non-parametric ML algorithms. Okay? So, now coming to if, if you are asked to list some of parametric and non-parametric algorithms. So, what algorithms you can give under parametric algos? Parametric machine learning algorithms. So, the first one you can think of it as linear regression, correct? So, linear regression both univariate and multivariate, okay? Univariate and multivariate, right? The second thing, it can be logistic regression, 
So these two are the basic and most simplest ML algorithms. What you can give example for parametric ML algorithms, right? And then we can think of linear support vector regression. Okay. And we can even classify naive base, naive base algorithm as well as parametric algorithm. Why naive base can be classified as parametric algorithms? Because let's say if we have some features x1, x2, x3, xn and the target value y. So these are our features and naive base thinks that all these are independent. That's the basic assumption. And that's what naive in naive base algorithm, right? So that's why it is called as naive base. It thinks all the features are independent. Doesn't matter if even if they are related, it always assumes that all the features are independent and it calculates the probabilities, right? So that's why these features will remain fixed, right? No matter if the number of data set, number of records increases or decreases. So that's why we can classify naive base algorithm as parametric machine learning algorithms right so what about neural networks so if you know about neural networks so this is how it looks like so this will be the input layer so the number of neurons or the number of these nodes in the input layer depends upon the number of features right and these are our hidden layers hidden layers and this is our output layer correct so the number of parameters depends upon the network architecture rather than the number of records that we have in the data set right so neural networks can also be classified as parametric ml algorithms okay now if we want to list some of the non parametric algorithms <coughs> non parametric ML algorithms. So, I have already given you a simple example that is decision trees. Right? So, decision trees is one of the examples for non parametric machine learning algorithms. The, so, similar lines, the second one could be random forest. Right? The third one we can classify k nearest neighbors, both regression and classification. As non parametric ML algorithms, and on the same lines, if we can write gradient boost XG boost, ADA boost, right? So, all these things can be classified as non parameter machine learning algorithms. Another one I can think of it as non linear. SVMs, right? So, wherein we make use of some kernel trick to fit to the nonlinear data set, right? So, these are all some of the machine learning algorithms which come under non parametric category, okay? So, that's it about this video. Uh, if you have any questions around this, please reach out to me, or if you want me to explain it in more detail, let me know. I will cover this in more detail, okay? So that's it for this video. If you are liking the content, please give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Okay. So that's it. Till we see in the next video. Happy learning. Bye bye.